Just take me back to my tower. Please, please. Would you kindly join me for another episode of Bioshock Infinite? This is Jewel Smith, and I am playing my way through Bioshock the Collection. I'm somewhere up around level 13 or 14 of this game. Getting close to the end. I think there's a total of 16 levels. Elizabeth was just taken from me. Again. <laughs> uh, but this time it wasn't just that she ran off or didn't want to be with me. It was that uh, the songbird came after us and tried to kill me. Tried to kill Booker. And she intervened and said, no, take me, I'll go back to the tower, just don't kill him. But we seem to be in an alternate reality, so I don't know if there's more than one Elizabeth here. I don't know why the songbird would be trying to take her back if there's already an Elizabeth in a tower here in this reality. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't really understand much of what's going on in this game. Heretic. That second picture looks like those three women I ran into at a uh, soldier field. Was that no battleship? Battleship Bay, I think it was. Wherever the beach was, anarchist, huh? Why are these all pictures of people at the beach? <laughs> How dare they go to the beach? Fornicators, huh? Oh, there's more people I remember from the beach. Pacifists. Why would they be... Wait a minute. Fornicators and pacifists. I mean, I can understand the heretic, anarchist, and fornicator, but why would a pacifist be a bad person? I remember that clown. <laughs> no, I mean, literally, there's a clown right there. I remember him. He was standing next to the... Uh, Ah, oh, there was that thing where you whack it with the mallet and it rings the bell at the top. At the carnival, at the beginning of the game. And this guy getting his shoes shined. I remember him. And then this guy here, he's one of the handyman dudes. Why would being a pacifist be bad? I thought that was kind of the whole point of Christianity was to turn the other cheek and... You know. Not be... Not be hurting other people. Blessed are the meek and all that, you know? Okay. Alright, whatever. In this crazy world of Columbia, I guess they have their own ideas about who's good and who's bad. What is this place? What are you planning to do to me? Oh, 
I guess there was a tear over there. Is that Elizabeth? Is she opening tears so that I can come through and rescue her? Is she trying? Don't really understand how her tear power works. She seems to be able to open rips in the fabric of space-time... blah blah, quantum physics, something something, I don't know. But it only ever seems to work when she really needs to like find me some salts or <laughs> get some ammo for me or something. What's going on in here? Her loving embrace, it says. What in the hell? Hang on, I want to put on this one. No sin evades his gaze. Who are these people? Why does he have a Ben Franklin mask on? in the hell is going on here? And they're kind of uh, blinking in and out like they're not entirely in this reality. The hell is that thing? Holy shit. I don't, I don't, oh my god. And he's got a George Washington mask on. And what's he got? Jefferson? No sin evades his gaze. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> this is this is this is proper creepy, as I would often say in uh, playing Bioshock and Bioshock Two. Well, more for Bioshock. I think Bioshock was really the game that uh, always creeped me out. All right, this guy. I'll be your daughter. Are they torturing her? I'm gonna have to kill this guy, aren't I? Alright, what can we use on him? Oh shit. Holy shit, they're all coming after me now. Oh damn. Run away! Your shield is broken. Take cover to recharge it. Does that seem to work on them? Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Trophy earned Master of Pyrotechnics. Well that trophy's not gonna help me much if I die here. Can I get back out this door? Is there a way to get, uh, is there a dollar bill out here? I don't think there's a dollar bill out here. Yeah, I don't think there was a, uh... Ah, oh, shit. I don't know if there's a way... Okay, the only way out might be through. Oh, well. And he's empty. Oh, I hope I find a dollar bill soon. Or some salt or something. Are there more in here? Are they all gone? Can I loot them? They don't seem to have any loots. Oh, I don't want to pick this up. 
But I am all out of ammo. No, 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 wait. I'll switch to this one. Oh, I really want my, uh... I really want my machine gun. I don't like this. Area is Damn restricted. It. I gotta find a way in. Yeah, you think? Shit. Okay, so there's nothing I can loot in here. It doesn't look like I can loot anybody in here. Oh man. Right. Listen. I just want to see the girl. Uh, Where are those? Doesn't matter. I just gotta get to the warden's office. Go to the warden's please, office. Please, what is this place? Just, just send me back to my tower. It's too late for that now, child. Your father Doctor Pedophog. And you chose to destroy it. He's not my father. Right. I suppose the siphon is a kind of leash. Yes, my father put it on me. But when the time came, neither did I remove it myself. What would happen if I took off the leash and I found I was as obedient as ever? So is that Elizabeth from my timeline or Elizabeth from this timeline? Oh, I gotta go this way, huh? Oh shit. Alright, I don't think engaging one of those light siren things, whatever they are, probably not a good idea. He didn't seem to attack me until I attacked him. So I might be able to get past him. I just don't know which way to run because I don't have a map that I can pull up to see where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, go to the warden's office. I get it. Oh, it's around the corner. Okay. All right, well, let him look that way. And let me go this way. Child, would you like to pray with me? They're hurting me. Please just let me go. We're going to cure you. I'm not sick. Your spirit is. All I ever wanted is to see you live up to your potential. So I'm not really clear what's going on here. Uh, it seems like I'm hearing these conversations through tears. But are they tears into other time periods? Tears into other realities? Are these things that were done to Elizabeth? The Elizabeth that I know in my reality? Are these things that were only being done to Elizabeth in this reality? I have no idea. Of course, if she's some kind of, like, sort of interdimensional being... Oh, I could pick up the hand cannon. Yeah, I think I will. Um, then maybe she's aware of all realities at the same time? But then the whole time I was running around with her, it didn't seem like she was aware of all these other realities. Like, it didn't seem like she was aware of being tortured. Or abused or whatever but then what I like I've said I don't really understand what's going on here so this is all just sort of speculation where we sleep where we cleanse
This is the guy that I ran past over there. Oops. Okay. Just trying to see. Not seeing any dollar bill vending machine, so we're gonna have to try to be very careful about our resources here. A heater. No, I'll stick with the hand cannon for now. These look like a whole bunch of dead people. And an incinerator. That's lovely. Our minds are born festering with sin. Some are so blighted, they will never find redemption. The mind must be pulled up from the roots. My children are without blame, without fault, and without choice. For what is the value of will when the spirit is found wanting? Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I don't like it. Not one bit. Use tub. No, I don't want to use the tub. Thank you. It's full of candles. And there's a dead rat. Oh, okay. I'm Dr. Pettifog, Elizabeth. And I'll be taking care of you. Get away from me. Defiant, even after all this time. DeWitt just left you here. You need to give up on him, love. He will come. Another one of those siren light things over there. Alright, I gotta be careful. Because apparently if he sees me, then they all freak out and attack me. Go to the warden's office. Over there. Gonna look this way, look that way, look this way. He has a pattern. He seems to have a pattern. Oh shit. See 
what else we can use on this dude? Well, possession is as good as anything, I guess. Does possession work on those dudes? Stick with the carbine for now. I think that was kind of my second favorite weapon in the game. After the uh, machine gun and the RPG. Alright, there seems to be something back here that I need to hear. I want to hear what that's got to say to me, but I don't want him to see me. Specimen needs to be destroyed. We couldn't even hold her in that tower, and now the prophet destroyed the lamb. His hair. If we modify the procedure, we could. It would be safer for everyone. It would seem an accident. If we could modify the procedure, it would seem an accident. What does that mean? What procedure? What accident? You're not eating, love. Is something the matter? I'm not hungry. You'll need to eat sooner or later. If you hold out for DeWitt, you'll just starve to death. Come now. Alright, there's some salts. Comstock House, huh? So Comstock House is in the middle of this weird asylum place? Is that what's going on here? And what did the Lord receive in return for his gifts? Eve and her apple, Sodom and Gomorrah. Humanity wrote a bad check, and the blood was the only way to settle accounts. For what is Columbia, if not a different ark in a different time. A different arc? Like Noah's Ark? Is that what she's trying to say?
Can I get through here? No, go to the warden's office. Uh, it doesn't seem to know where to tell me to go. Okay, this way. High security area. The child is ready. This time. Prophet, even if we cure her, why do you think she'll do what you ask? My daughter has two problems, Doctor. One is the condition your science will cure her of. The other affliction is of a spiritual nature. What affliction is that? Hope. Do I need to go this way? Well, let's... Let's see what's around here on the other side first. If anything. Nope. Looks like I can't get through here. Alright. Gotta go this way. There's a bunch of masks. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's awful. Ugh, I don't like it. Hold to pick up pistol. No, I'll stick with the carbine. Thank you. Hummingbirds, huh? Alright. 1909. I remember seeing those hummingbirds when we first came into Columbia. Uh oh, it's auto saving. Your surgery is tomorrow, you know. You better eat. Oh, you still expect the wit to burst in and rescue you, don't you? It's been six months. Six months. What's over here? Pick up shotgun. I'll stick with the carbine, thank you, but it's nice to know the shotgun's there. Shit. Go to the warden's office. Is it around the corner? Is that where I need to go? Gonna 
look this way. Gonna look that way. to sneak through that way. Nope, I'm gonna have to sneak through that way. Okay. It doesn't look like I can climb over this. Even though I should be able to. See if this was the real world. I just barely made it. That way to the warden's office, huh? Okay. Is there anything over there to loot? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Where we learn, huh? A man once promised me that he would free me of my chains. But in the end, he abandoned me to serve his own needs. But in some ways, I thank him. He showed me exactly how much faith our species deserves. God put his faith in men once too. She requires only our submission and nothing more. Simplicity, humility, servility. Truth, I ran from his embrace. I even denied that I was his. I followed a man who seemed to be everything my father was not. That man was a false shepherd. What is the value of will when the spirit is wanting? So what is this whole movie about? Is trying to say that she put all her hope in Booker and he let her down? Well that was your first mistake. You shouldn't put all your hope in one person and expect them to rescue you. Of course, I don't think that's my Elizabeth talking. I think that's like an alternate reality Elizabeth talking there. Maybe? Don't know. Oh, there's a kinetoscope here. Battleship Falls. 1909 again. Battleship Bay? Yeah, I think we've been there. Oh, a guy fell into the water, huh? Oh, is that how he died? The guy who maybe made all these kinetoscopes? Did he die while filming Battleship Bay? Uh-oh. Security center, it's auto saving again. Go to the warden's office, okay. Hopefully, the warden's office will have a dollar bill so I can fill back up on ammo. Oh, there's a sign warden's office. Alright, but let's look around here and see what we can find, if anything. What is this thing? Some kind of big boiler?
Can I interact with this? As the days pass, I believe less in God and more in Lutes. My powers shrivel as my regrets blossom. All of this because my father failed me. By the time I realized how far I'd gone, it was too late to stop it. But there is still one last chance at redemption for both of us. What does that even mean? Redemption for who? For her? For me? For Booker? For Comstock? Alright, let's look at this gear. New hat! Rising Bloodlust. After each successful kill, up to 5 weapon damage is increased. Resets 10 seconds after last kill. What else are we wearing? Um, ammo cap. When shooting, empty clips have 40% chance of auto-filling without reload. Um, sure. Let's take this. Let's put this one on. That seems like it might be helpful to us at this point. back here. Some salts. What's over here? Oh, pistol. Evidence. What does this evidence say? Box hideout murdered. Okay. There's the switch. This has ambush all over it. Or cutscene or something. Very odd noises. Let's listen to this. What I've done cannot be undone. I cannot stop what I have put in motion. But perhaps I can keep it from ever starting. He was my first hope. And now, he is my last. Who are we talking about? Me? Booker? Comstock? Alright, let's open the security gate. Yeah, here we go. You should be able to head downstairs and get to Elizabeth now. Rescue Elizabeth, huh? Oh shit. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. It says, I am using my vigors. Uh, 
All right, before I proceed any further, I'm gonna have to say uh, my alarm's about to go off, so I'm gonna go ahead and upload what I have here because uh, my PS4 has been a little weird lately and not allowing me to record up to and past 45 minutes lately. It's been cutting me off and not saving. Uh, it's supposed to save up to 60 minutes, but that hasn't been happening. So I'm going to go ahead and say thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you're enjoying this adventure in Columbia with Bioshock Infinite, please leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends, and you can watch all of the previous episodes in the Bioshock collection on my YouTube channel, Jewel Smith. Uh, take care of yourselves. Until next time, bye!